Hi everyone, this is a, an update on the materials that I use for the hidden hinge in my journals. Um, I'll show you one here. So it's just the, the spine or whatever relief you've put on the spine that you can see. Right, shit is that. So the signatures have actually sewn onto a fabric. Now, when I did my last tutorial, I was using Craftex because that's what I'd seen and I thought, yeah, that works really well. And then um, watched a video from a lady called Sea Lemon about making your own book cloth to actually cover the journals with. So I had a play with it. Yeah, it works. It doesn't work so well for me for the raised embossing, but as a, a general book cloth, it works brilliantly. But I took it to the next sort of degree and decided to try it to sew my signatures onto and it works brilliantly um so basics start off with your fabric so i use this normal uh calico fabric for my um foot cloth and then so for the the spine or for the the hidden hinge the stuff i use inside i've taken some of the fabric and then this uh, ultra heat bond ultra hold which is really weird stuff so paper on the outside and then the shiny stuff in inside so shiny stuff to, onto the fabric so it goes like that iron it on no steam just a medium heat setting and that sticks it's a fabric stiffener it's what you'd use making dresses for collars and that type of thing i'm assuming you can use other stuff it's just i bought some of this uh heat bond so i thought right i'll carry on using it up so that is glued on or yeah it is an effect glue because this is the type of glue so ironed on to the back of that and then once you've done that you then sandwich it now I, she says tissue paper now I have this stuff that I use to wrap my journals in when I send them out so I have found out you do need to wind this stuff first otherwise you end up with wrinkles in your um, in your book cloth so iron your tissue paper and then sandwich it between your fabric that you've heat sealed the heat and bond onto and put that on it so if you like you've got a sandwich of the tissue paper the heat and bond and then the top layer is your fabric that you use and as your book cloth and it works out really really well it's flexible craft tapes is flexible and it is good but this i found is just give a bit more give so when you do your stitch your journals on it's just a bit more flexibility inside so you can put your covers aren't that stiff they're stiff enough for what they should be they don't, certainly don't flop around as you can see but they're just a bit more flexible a bit more forgiving when you come to glue them onto your onto your actual base and very easy to sew onto so craft text can be a bit of an, a pain or i certainly found it did the other advantage is you can paint it so this is a painted one for a journal i'm doing and it matches it will tone in to the inside if i can find bear with me so imagine so that will go on to there once i've sewn my signatures onto it and then that will be glued onto there and it all see it all tones in lovely there's no need to try and find additional paper or to cover up the edges or to put i have in the past put strips down the middle of the signatures to try and sort of blend it in this just blends in beautifully so back to this one so it all tones in lovely it does come up a shade lighter sometimes I found on these but if I go to the middle I can find bear with me there is no need for additional papers in the middle or decoration it all just sort of for me it works lovely 
So it's just an idea, just an update on um, on the actual hidden hidden seam, but hidden hinge or hidden seam. So yeah, so that's how it works. And I have to say that is, and it is very so much cheaper than trying to use craft tapes. I know other people use fabric. I found that I tried fabric and it was a bit, oh, it was too too thin. Whereas this just just the right sort of give without being too floppy doesn't look very pretty but then you don't see the back of it so that's that one well thanks very much for watching i hope you found it useful and i will speak to you later bye